Hello, I'm Zayana Barnett. Um, sorry I'm filming in such a dark environment. I got in a bad car accident, I want to say, three days ago. So that's why I kind of look like this. So bear with me. I'm so sorry. Okay, so today I'm going to be explaining the Crown Bridge procedures and the basic setups. Um, so the basic, first of all, on the tray, you're going to need a basic setup, which is a mouth mirror explorer and con pliers. You're going to need the air water syringe, HVE, for short terms, um, saliva ejector. You're going to need cotton rolls, 2x2 two two gauze, content applicator, dental floss, additional instruments like the perio probe, spoon, excavator, the Woodson, and the plastic instrument. You're going to need a condenser, a spatula, a cord packer, scissors, um, articulator, double well dappin dish, a shade guide, curing light, a triple tray number two, an impression tray number two, and impression guns. So that is the setup for that. Um, sorry, I kind of took some notes here. So after that, After that, step two, you're going to greet the patient, um, check their medical history, um, maintain an open mind. So ask them, have they been feeling okay? Any updated medical history or any updates on anything that's going on? Um, step two, you're going to take a prelim impression of the tooth and you could use the putty material if your office recommend it, or you can use whatever they provide for that type of step. Step three, you're going to place topical and prepare the syringe with the needle uh, and the anesthetic and rinse the patient's mouth. So once you prepare all of that and you rinse out their mouth, um, you're going to give them a topical anesthetic, uh, just something to numb the patient, well, not really numb the patient before we give them an anesthetic, but to, you know, ease the pain a little bit. <laughs> Step four, the dentist used the diamond burrs to cut away the decay or fracture portions of the tooth. Um, so he's going to cut around the crown of the tooth or any decay, any caries he sees on the tooth and cut around it. And after that, he will maintain a clear operating field with the use of an HVE. And he might use the mouth mirror to retract the lips or we may use the mouth mirror to retract the lips. And we have to remove the water and debris that is coming from the burr and the shape and the prep of the tooth that the dentist is giving us. So during the prep, if it's too much structure to be removed while the decay, it will build up. So we need to place a primer and a bond material that will help the patient. Um, step six, you will prep. And as you, and we will continue the suction. Step seven, um, once that is complete, we will place the gingival retraction cords and cord packer, and it may soak in the hemodent in the vial, the vice so stat prior to the place placement. We will let that sit for five minutes, um, and prepare the for the final impression tray and materials. So then we wait on that. And then we will remove the cord for the final impression and place the cotton pliers for cord removal. And then after that, we will finish prepping the tooth and make sure to uh, use your dappin dish and place your crown onto the tooth, your temp crown. And then we might give the patient a some articulating paper to have them bite down to see if the bite is very even or if it's uneven. And that is all that i have today for the crown prep and thank you guys for watching